Hey folks, another NixOS video here, number 57. Speed testing your, really my, internet connection over time. Uh, recently had a problem where uh, I was getting pretty, pretty uh, widely varying internet speeds, like between 20 and 700 megabits per second. According to my cable provider, I have a gigabit connection. I've never seen a gigabit, but certainly it shouldn't be 20 megabits. And I think I actually solved the, the problem in the meantime by replacing both my router and my cable modem. Just a, you know, a, a gush of technical uh, replacements. Uh, but for good measure, I'm just going to try to keep an eye on uh, the speed by recording some historical speeds over time. So um, the initial plan was to use, the, you know, there, there's a... Um, a great website called speed test it's quite a nice site and there is a cli program um, that you can use interact well, well programmatically to do the same thing that you know clicking on this go button would do to give you a, a speed um and this is a python program and it is packaged in NixOS. it's called speed test cli i think i hope anyway but uh it was pretty flaky and i think it was throttling me i guess you know for probably good reason uh, it takes a lot of bandwidth to do this uh and it commonly errored out so i had to fall back to using a cli program that uses netflix's uh fast.net instead of speed.net speed test.net um i say uh with some regret regrets because um i am a little distrustful of the results of fast.net because of the revocation of net neutrality. Um, I'm sure my cable provider uh, actually prefers Netflix traffic over um, over anything else. So I'm not particularly sanguine about the you know the reliability of these reports, but it's the best I can manage right now. And actually, it did catch sometimes when my internet connection was absurdly low. The way that, that you can do this from a command line, as opposed to, you know, if I go to fast on that up here, uh, you know, I could fast on that. The way that you can use uh, the API of the fast.net server is to use a command called fast, which comes packaged in a NixOS package called fast-cli. Once you install this, um, you can do something like this fast and it will tell you what your speed is mine is quite good right now this is quite a nice program to use interactively because you can you know you see it sort of going up and down and stuff like that but it doesn't really help us very much if we want to do it um programmatically so it does have a a json option which allows us to uh to get rid of this quite nice little dancing sprite animation here, I'm going to I'm going to run this command. Um, and uh, I'm sorry, it's colored like that, but it's fast dash dash JSON, and I'm piping it through grep dash v user IP because I not that I don't trust you, but I don't want you to see my IP address. So I'm I'm just going to run it again. It'll do us effectively the same thing, but it'll return some JSON. And once this comes back, you'll you'll see it, but. I could have just taken this JSON that, that comes back and appended it to a file. Um, but it's, you know, I, I could have might maybe just made it a single line and like just appended that line to a file and it would just be JSON. And, and it was just kind of hard to read. Um, so rather than take it in its raw form, I decided to write a Python program that would take this stuff here, the, the JSON that it spits out and turn it into just a line in a CSV file. I, I wrote this program here, this it's called fastlog.py. And, oh, oh, by the way, if you, if you click on the link in the description, you will, you will be directed to this, this thing on the left-hand side, this, this little thing over here that you can click on it and see this program. Um, this is a little opaque. I'm sorry. Uh, it was just easier to write Python than it was to try to figure out all the command line options to TR and sed and awk and 
all that crap in order to do it. So I just parse the JSON. I, um, well, I, in here I run the, the, the JSON, the, the fast program, get back the, the standard out of the program. And then I do a bunch of stuff in it to, to then print this CSV, which we'll see in a second. So I'm just going to go run this real quick. Uh, at CNXOS. So as I put, I, I don't know why I put it here, but it's in this Etsy directory. So I have to run this via sudo because it actually outputs to var log fast.csv, um, which I don't have access to as my normal user. So I'm going to run it Python 3 to 11, fast log pi. So um, it's both going to print to the screen here the CSV, and it's going to also append it to that, that file, var log, uh, fast.csv. So, in any case, this Python is a little inscrutable. You can go look at it if you want to. I'm not going to explain it, but it just, it basically just parses the output of, of the JSON and spits out a line, a line of CSV to that file. Uh, in order for me to automatically run that every so often, now this is what, this is, Nix is so cool. Like Nix is okay. So we saw we, we we have a line of CSV here that it outputted here, and so it also made it into cat bar log fast CSV. Um, right. So it already has a number of entries in there. So we can see we have a header up here, time span, speed, latency, download, and bloat. Um. So at four o three p.m., I had five ninety four four o four. You get it. Um, what's so cool about Python or about uh, Nix is that it lets us set this up in a in a totally repeatable way on any system. So um, the first thing I have here is I I'm I'm defining a derivation and 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 I'll show you this in context. This is just sort of you could you could take this whole thing and put it into a file and into a Nix file somewhere, include it, and it would actually it would actually create these system, these uh, timer things that would run this every so often, but I'll explain it bit by bit here. So first we have this derivation here. We're making a derivation. It's a very simple derivation. We don't, we actually don't make much use of the fact that it is a derivation other than this will put this fast log pi, which I have for inscrutable reasons inside of an Etsy directory in my in my Nix configuration directory. So this, uh, this file, uh, actually exists inside of a directory that's in my Nix configuration. So it's actually in here. Uh, so, um, this bit here that says dash dash Etsy fast log pie, what it means is look, oops, means look up here. Go to Etsy, grab fast log my pie. So that's why it has that dot dot in front of it. Your, your mileage may vary, um, but it says uh, uses the GNU install program to install it with executable permissions. In uh, copies that file and copies it to the bin directory of the output. It, it, it'll create this bin directory. Actually, that's that's why we use this install command, and it'll call it fast log. So uh, once I name this fast log thing anywhere further down in my configuration, it will go ahead and do that. It'll create a a derivation. So if I go to Nix store, uh, let's say I'll grab fast log. It will. It's this one here creates NYFD D and it created a bin directory and inside the bin directory it has a fast log thing and if I run this program this fast log got trap oops wrong one this is a little bit Python three has to be Python three eleven can't be an older one. But 
that is the um, that is all, all all this this packages standard and make derivation thing is is copy that into the next store so that we can refer to it later. That's it. So uh, we'll see that that finishes at some point. But in the meantime, we also have this systemd service speed test thing, which creates a speed test service, and the type of of speed of of systemd services is a one shot which means it's just available to be called at any time. Um, we feed it a path. You can, you can uh, feed these, these systemd services. Uh, when you define a systemd service, you can define w what path, w what, what is on the path for the, for the um, script to do its job. Uh, the, I, I mean, the Unix path, this. Uh, so when we say with packages, fast log, fast CLI, Python 3.11, what it means here is it says, add the bin directory of this fast log derivation that we defined, oops, up above this one, out bin fast log. So fast log will be on our path. Fast CLI, which is the speed test program from, from Netflix, uh, its bin directory will be on the path. Python 3.11, which we need to run this thing, which I inadvertently showed before, will be on the path. And then we define the script, which is just run the fast load program. It takes no arguments. And when we run it, so I, I think it probably finished. Yeah. So it will both spit out this, this line to standard out, and it will go ahead and append that same line our fast CSV. Now, defining the one-shot systemd service doesn't actually cause it to run at all. We actually have to set up a timer to to run it every so often. So that's what this does. That's this 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 bit of Nix here that says it is you know this is this is sort of cargo culty. These two lines here. It's wanted by timers target. Don't know what that means. Uh, part of speed test service. Okay, sure, why not? <laughs> but the <laughs> but the uh, the meat of it here is say timer config. Okay, run it every four hours, uh, and so that's what this on calendar does here, and that's what this this bit of mess here does. It runs it at midnight, four a.m., eight a.m., twelve p.m., two p.m., and eight. Uh, no, sorry, twelve p.m., four p.m., eight p.m., and it uses the speed test service, which is this one. Now that we have that, what's happening is that my fast log pi program will just be run every four hours. That's that's about it, and it will produce this. You know, every so every four hours, a new line will be appended to that, that thing. So you know, it's as if we did that, but it happens every four hours. That's it. I. This is more. This is more informational about how to use systemd services and timers than it is about what's happening actually here. But if you know, if you want to take this program and and run it, it it'll work. You know, it writes the var log fast CSV and runs fast. .net. You just take all the stuff and just jam it in your config, man. Just jam it in there. Don't matter. Just copy it in. Uh, all right. Um, in any case, uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it.